I don't know if it's for you, but today I'm gonna to be sharing with you the pros and cons of buying a home in Chino, California. Hello, my name is Thomas Ryan and I am a Southern California real estate agent. In fact, I've lived and worked in the city of Chino for over 10 years now. So naturally, yes, I have a fondness for the city. With that being said, it certainly has its drawbacks and I intend to share those with you in this video. But first, let me tell you a little bit about the city of Chino. Chino, California is a suburban city in San Bernardino County, which is located in Southern California. Known for its family-friendly atmosphere, growing economy, and beautiful surroundings, Chino has quickly become a popular destination for those seeking a more comfortable lifestyle away from the hustle and bustle of bigger cities. With a diverse population and range of cultural and entertainment options, Chino offers residents the opportunity to experience the best of suburban living, while at the same time having access to larger cities like Los Angeles, San Diego, and beyond. Pro number one, Chino has a home for everyone. The city has a range of housing options to fit varying lifestyles and budgets. The city is primarily composed of single family residences. However, there are a lot of other options like townhomes, condos, and apartments available for both rent or for purchase. One of the most popular housing options in Chino is single family homes which range in style and size from cozy new construction homes to your larger, older farm style estates on larger lots. Many homes in Chino are new construction and offer some of your modern amenities, such as open floor plans, gourmet kitchens, and outdoor living spaces. For those of you looking for a more low maintenance lifestyle, there are a number of townhouse and condo developments throughout the city. So whether you're looking for a spacious family home, a low maintenance condo, or just a convenient apartment, the city of Chino has the right housing option for you. Con number one, traffic. Commuting from Chino, California can be challenging considering the high levels of traffic in the surrounding areas. Chino is located near several major freeways, such as the 60, the 71, and the 91, which can become extremely congested during rush hour and high traffic times. One of the main traffic challenges is the commute from Chino to Los Angeles, which can be a long and difficult drive during rush hour. The 60 freeway connecting Chino to Los Angeles can become very congested during high traffic times, causing long delays and slow moving traffic. In addition, there can be heavy traffic on the 71 freeway, which runs north and south through the region, and on the 91 freeway, which connects Chino to Orange County. To help alleviate some of this traffic congested, Chino has invested in transportation infrastructure improvements, including widening some of the major roads and freeways. Overall, while traffic can be a challenge for the commuters in the city, there are efforts underway to improve transportation infrastructure and alleviate congestion, making commuting from Chino a bit more manageable. Specifically, the 71 to 91 interchange project, which is actually starting as I speak here in early 2023, and expected completion is in 2025. This interchange, which serves as a gateway between Riverside, Orange, and San Bernardino County, is a vital link for commuters and freight vehicles that travel along the 91 and the 71. The new non-tolled interchange is designed to improve safety, expand access to other modes of travel, reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and enhance traffic flow. Pro number two, location, location, location. The city of Chino is a centrally located city in close proximity to many freeways, such as the 71, the one right behind me, the 60 and the 91. All of these will allow you to get to other parts of Southern California conveniently. As mentioned, Chino is in Southern California in San Bernardino County. San Bernardino County is bordered to the Northwest with LA County to the Southwest 
with Orange County and to the east with Riverside County. Chino is located approximately 35 miles east of downtown Los Angeles and approximately 25 to 30 miles from popular Orange County beaches like Newport Beach, Laguna Beach, and Huntington Beach. The drive time can vary depending upon traffic conditions. However, it should take you about 45 minutes to get to local Orange County beaches from Chino. Are you not a fan of the beach and would rather hit the ski slopes? Well, you are only 45 miles away from the nearest ski resort in the Mountain High Resort in the city of Wrightwood. Other ski resorts in the area, Sun Valley and Big Bear Mountain Resort, are a little bit further, approximately 60 to 70 miles away from Chino. You also have San Diego to the south, which you can get to in a couple of hours, as well as Las Vegas, which you can drive to in three and a half to four and a half hours, depending upon how quick you drive. Con number two, lack of nightlife and entertainment. Chino is largely a residential community with light industrial and warehouses. So it is most definitely true, you're not gonna find the level of nightlife and entertainment you might at one of the surrounding larger cities in Southern California. The main sources of entertainment are gonna be the shopping centers, the parks, and the city-sponsored events. While shopping centers like the Chino Spectrum Shops, which I'm standing in right now, offer a wide range of shopping and dining options, you definitely won't find the hottest nightclubs or award-winning shows or performances. There are, however, a number of parks and outdoor spaces throughout the city where residents can enjoy recreational activities such as hiking, biking, and picnicking. And lastly, the City of Chino's Community Services Department is awesome. They offer an array of educational and recreational programs, social services, neighborhood and community parks, museums, community facilities, and special events throughout the year that residents have the opportunity to take advantage of. In addition, Chino is in close proximity to larger cities like Ontario, Los Angeles, and Anaheim that offer a wider array of entertainment options, including sports arenas, music venues, and nightlife hotspots. While Chino may not have the same nightlife and entertainment options as a large city, it still offers plenty of opportunities for residents to enjoy recreational activities, community events, and cultural experiences. Pro number three is Chino's growing economy. In a new study, Smart Asset uncovered the fastest growing cities in the United States. They analyzed data for 494 of the largest cities across topics measuring growth of the population, income, GDP, businesses, housing, and changes in unemployment. Chino's own mayor attributes this growth to an influx in shopping plazas, housing developments, and industrial parks. Famous burger chain In-N-Out is relocating its main warehouse operations to Chino, as well as a new FedEx facility being built in the city. Just these two corporations alone have created almost 1,000 jobs within the city. Also, Chino has seen an increase in the number of housing units in the city by almost 30% totaling just over 27,000. While at the same time, the city's median household income has increased to roughly 42%, a figure around $97,000 a year. With this residential and industrial growth over the past years, in 2022, the city of Chino was ranked in the top 10 for the United States boom towns. Con number three is going to be lack of public transportation. While the city does have a bus system, additional forms of public transportation are limited, which can make it difficult on those commuting without a car. Bus routes that run through the city of Chino are primarily operated by Omnitrans. These routes connect Chino to nearby cities like Pomona and Ontario, as well as additional public transportation hubs like the Montclair Transit Center. I have personally known people who have used public transportation from Chino to get to LA, and it takes quite a few steps. They have to drive to a Metrolink station and then take the train into the city and then find public transportation from there to get to their ultimate destination. While this certainly can save drive time, traffic time, and wear and tear on your vehicle, it still takes quite a bit of time with all the number of steps it takes to get to your destination. 
One bonus for senior residents of Chino is the Senior Center Transportation Program. This program provides qualified residents free transportation to and from approved location and events throughout the city, Monday through Friday. While the public transportation options are pretty limited compared to larger cities, it does offer a few options for those looking to get outside of the city. And lastly, number four, Chino is a family-friendly community. Chino is known for its family-friendly atmosphere. With a wide range of amenities and activities, it makes it a great place to raise a family. Chino has a number of parks, playgrounds, and outdoor spaces throughout the city where families can spend quality time together. There are 26 city-maintained parks throughout the city, each with their own amenities like sports fields, picnic areas, and playgrounds. Several of the parks even offer community events throughout the year, like movie nights, festivals, and concerts. Chino has a thriving youth sports scene with a wide range of programs and leagues for children of all ages. From baseball to basketball to soccer, there are a number of options for children to get active and involved in team sports. And Chino even has a boxing club. Yeah, that's right. The Chino Boxing Club is a training center for boxers of all ages and skill levels. As you can see, overall, Chino's family-friendly environment is characterized by a strong sense of community, a safe and welcoming atmosphere, and ample opportunities for children and families to learn, play, and grow together. Con number four, warm or hot weather. Chino is a semi-arid climate, which means it experiences hot and dry summers. The temperatures in Chino can reach into the 90s and sometimes even to the 100s during the summer months, especially during July and August. The city also experiences mild winters with average daytime temperatures in the mid to the high 60s. The spring and fall seasons are generally mild with daytime temperatures ranging from the mid 70s to mid 80s. Due to the hot summers, it's very important for residents and visitors to take precautions from heat-related illnesses, such as staying hydrated, staying in shaded areas, and avoiding strenuous outdoor activity during the hottest parts of the day. While it most certainly can get hot throughout the summer months here in the city, don't worry, the majority of homes throughout the city are equipped with air conditioning, which means you can get some relief from those hot summer days by staying inside and turning down the temperature. All right, that's my list of pros and cons of buying a home in Chino, California. I hope that you found it useful and informative. I enjoyed providing the information for you. If there was anything that I may have missed or a specific question you had about the city, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll be sure to answer it or feel free to give me a call or send me a text message. I can be reached at 909-334-2049. Additionally, as I mentioned, I am a local real estate agent having done business in Chino for over 10 years now. So if after viewing this video, you have decided that the pros outweigh the cons and are considering pursuing a purchase of a home in Chino, feel free to reach out. It would be my pleasure to assist you with buying a home in Chino, California. Thanks so much for checking out this video today. And if you haven't done it yet, I would appreciate it so much if you would hit the like button on this video, because really what it can do is help people like you get the information they need. And if you would like to see even more videos just like this one, go ahead and subscribe to the channel today. Thanks again. Until next time, have a good day. Bye.